Oh yeah, that is totally dry. Yesterday I was at the antique shop and I found some old Polaroid pack film. It was really a good deal. It's $25 for these two packs and this camera. I didn't really want the camera, but I figured it's still a good deal. I could just have an extra cam camera with it. But actually, it turned out pretty well because my other camera that I have uses 4. Point, uh, or sorry, uses like 3 volts. This one uses 4.5 volts, but can go down to 4.2 volts. So I can just put a little 18650 in there without hardly any modifications, and it'll work fine. So it's really easy to get that one working. So I'm actually happy I got that. Plus I got the manual. But this film, December 1978 expiration, and this one is November 1979. It's all nice and together. So I think we should shoot some pictures with this old, like, 40-year-old film. I have never gotten a chance to use one of these cameras before. I'm so excited. So, if I understand correctly, this film actually lasts a lot longer than the newer Polaroid instant film, the integral film, I guess it would be, because the newer Polaroid film dries out in about 20 years. But from my understanding, this actually doesn't dry out hardly at all. Oh, look at that. Is that the package? Put this inside here. Make sure all the little white tabs stay out. And the roller is mostly clean, so that's good. That goes down. This goes out like so. Like that, I guess. On this one, I'm going to be using the cold clip since it's actually quite chilly outside. I've replaced the tape with a bit of gaffer's tape. What you do is you put this underneath your armpit, and or in your armpit, and it keeps the picture warm so it develops properly since this is a bit finicky whenever it comes to temperatures. So first we pull up on this, so that pulls out. And now, let's see. I'm going to get this over there. So that's on the right setting there. I'm going to adjust the brightness because older film, it uh, it's not as strong as it should be. So this should be a little bit brighter and that should make a nice regular picture if this does anything. Let me set this down. Now I believe we pull this out. Whoops. Okay, I did have it correct. Like so. Okay, it just started to tear right there. Which is not promising, but it worked. So that's good. Now we need to focus. On the back, there is the main viewfinder but on this hole right here you have to look through this is how you focus you have to line up the two images like so and go over here and take the picture you hear that it did, did like that let's see if this is correct so now we've taken the picture we've exposed the light to the the plate or the um, the negative. So we need to pull the negative through and hook it to the positive. And in the manual, it says to pull this at the speed of pull it. Like say the word pull it, and that's how long it should take to pull it out. So let's see. Whoops. Oh fuck. Oh, I see. I forgot. So this 
I forgot it's three steps, so it's two steps per thing. Now this is this is whenever Vashi starts developing. This is making more sense now. Oh, and it says to hold it like that in the manual. Oh. Oh yeah, that is totally dry. Yeah, this this film pack is totally dried out. Well, that's an added complication. Okay, so it looks like the film developer is actually in this little pouch right here, and that is totally dried out. Whenever it pulls it through, it should squeeze that. The chemicals go through there and cover that. This is the part that got exposed. This is the negative that gets pulled around like, like this. Or sorry, like this. And then it should line those two up with the chemicals. You wait 60 seconds and then you peel them apart. But of course it's entirely dried out, so that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. This is what the picture would be would be on. Hmm. Let's try another one. Try once again. So it looks like you really need to have a good storage of this. However, let's see if maybe we can rehydrate this sometime. I doubt it. We, I doubt we could, though. It's strange how the packs changed color from green to purple. Hmm. Well, that's a real shame. I think I'm going to go and see if there's any way to rehydrate the developer pack, if that is even possible. It would be nice if it's just a solvent in there, but I don't know. Looks like it's actually come out a little bit too. By the way, I just want to say I'm so glad we went to digital. Look at all the trash left over just from two pictures. It's amazing. Although, I mean, this is nice. It's just, it's, uh, wouldn't be good if this was the only type of photography we had access to. So here's a change of plans. This video is mostly just me asking you guys, do you think there's any way to rehydrate or resolvenate or, or whatever the developer pack? Because I know a lot of you are a lot smarter than me when it comes to chemistry and whatnot. So I would love to hear if you have any information on that. And then, if if we do, then I can try and try to fix the rest of the pictures, if at all possible. And that would be kind of interesting. But I think that might be a good... I, I, I should probably just stop and step away for a little bit and just see if you guys have any good information. And if not, then I can come back and try some of my own experiments. Hope you guys enjoyed this very short little video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!